Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing on the direwolf 20 pack on this here unnamed server. That's right, we don't have a name, but that's fine, we're all having fun anyway, and I will show you who we are on with right now in a little bit. So last time we were together, we got some of this power put together and, you know, based on what I did on another server on FTB Revelation, um, I found a better way of getting, or at least a more efficient way of putting that Eulorium. So we don't use five and end up using only four. Anyway, it, whatever that we've got four here and it's the most efficient setup and we're going to be increasing that, uh, but not today. Today, what are we going to do? Well, we need to get prepared to go on an adventure. We've got some things we need to do and collect and, and yeah, so we need to get ready for that. I want to do it all in one fell swoop. I want to bring you along for it, but we need to get prepared first. So let's turn around here, bring back the HUD, put on the armor, and let's take a look at who we are on with. We have got a full, full on setup here. We've got original junior dad craft and WC Hamilt. Wild Trekker was just on. You just finished up a stream, but it is late. It's late where I am, which means it's even later where he is. And so he has gone to bed. Anyway, what are we going to be working on today? Well, we've got a storage area here, and this is all well and good, but it's not quite what I want long term. We want to get a more centralized storage and crafting system. Most everybody on the server is doing refined storage other than WC Hamilt. He is doing AE2, but he is not doing YouTube videos. He's doing streaming. So um, I want to do AE2. I'm going to rep AE2 here on, on the server for YouTube. I'm not excited about it, but it, since everybody else is doing refined storage, I figure, you know what, we'll, we'll just do it to be different. I don't care for AE2, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, on our long-term plan here, we got to go on an adventure. And so we need to take some things with us. So first and foremost, actually, do I have it on me? I had it on me. Where did I put it? Maybe it's down in here. Uh, off camera. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to take the Apiers backpack with me and also the bee smoker and anything else. No, I think that's going to be good for now. Okay. So off camera, I took care of upgrading these to the gold level. I haven't gone to diamond level yet because I don't have enough diamonds and um, yeah, anyway, crashed the server a couple times because apparently JEI does not like putting uh, tile entities into crafting stations uh, when you are pulling a recipe. Uh, I don't know why, it just doesn't. I crashed this, this server twice and I crashed FTB Revelation once, doing something similar but with actually additions. Anyway, anyhow, so I went ahead and took care of that off camera. Now, uh, the next order of business before we do that there was something i was going to do yeah let's take a look at our diamond supplies here we got 47 so not not great okay not great but um it's something and that is something i wanted to bring or bring to your attention would you mind me doing something like an rf tools builder just to get started and i'll show you why here as we get into one of the other tools that i want to start okay I want to get something I saw Dadcraft put together and it's called the Scooperator 9000 or he calls it the Scooperator 9000. We need that power module. You just saw the recipe for it there. Dadcraft sleeping. We're down to three. Huh? Yeah, it's the Scooperator MX200 Turbo. He calls his the Scooperator 9000. So this thing right here just takes a charge and oh, I guess Maybe somebody's in another dimension. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so this thing has a charge and and it instead of breaking like a scoop does, you can break the the who's and what's it's the hives and and it doesn't it just takes a little bit of RF. That's fine, but we don't have an RF charging thing. So um, I could go with like the energetic infuser from thermal dynamics. Yes. But we're doing immersive engineering here. So we're going to do something called the charger, but we need a couple of pieces of, of uh, crafting recipes here. So we need an MV wire connector. 
It's pretty simple. We've got some terracotta, used to be called clay, and some iron. And there we go. So we'll take one of those and put that over in here like that. Then we're going to need copper coil block. I think that's the name of it. And that's that copper wire. I've already taken care of crafting all of those, those wires. Yeah, copper coil block. We're going to grab one of those and put that here right like that. And then we get a charging station. Okay, any other crafting recipes here? No. And then before we go much further, we need the materials in you, which is not over here. Why is this thing? Oh, it's, it's bugged out. Okay. So what we're going to do is put the charging station maybe right here. And we'll do out. And this thing does not have IF on it. No. So let's do none. Okay. And then we'll put this maybe on top of this. Okay, that's filling up. And then, oh, I see. You just right click it in there. There's no inventory that you can access or no GUI that you can access. And is that done now? Charges, 37. Let's just do that. Maybe give it a little bit more. I'm not sure how this thing works. I've never used it before. The charging station, that is. And I've never used the Scooperator 9000 either. And are we full? 101. Got 500 charges in there. Okay. 100 out of 101. Okay, that's fine. Got 12,500 EU in it. Okay. So that's good. And then we can put this MV wire connector back over here. And then what I want to do is grab the materials in U-Book because there's one more piece of, of tooling that we need before we go. Actually, there's a few more, but first let's take care of this. I know I've done Tinker's Construct with you before, but we need to do something more specific here. We need, uh, let's go back to modifiers. I want the silk touch one because we're going to go look for a packed ice biome maybe we'll get it here we go silk touch adding a large glob of gold and a bunch of string seems to give the tool silky smooth properties the silky jewel okay and we have to put that on something that can take down the ice so let's take a look at silky jewel here there's a couple ways to get the get packed ice here we go silky block of jewels so we need silky cloth and emerald we can do this okay we've got string so where is the string okay and that and we have some emeralds somewhere right there we need one of those okay and we'll see about making one two three four that's all we need thank you and this and there we go okay so next order of business is we actually need to make something that can uh, that can tear down this stuff pretty quickly how did i get oh i guess i pulled out two stacks no three stacks of string i didn't need to pull out three stacks of string oh an original junior left the game so now we're down to dadcraft soap and wc hamilton okay Let's come over here. I've got the chat turned off, by the way, just uh, because everyone was kind of chatty. And um, and that's fine. That's fine. Well, I'll turn it back on once I'm done recording. So what we need to do now is go back to materials and see if we can find something that's going to be fast. I want, say, a fast hammer. This hammer right here, not very fast. Mining speed, well, 8.96, not too bad. Durability is pretty good. Tax not so good, but that's fine. We don't need luck on it. We just need silk touch. So over here, um, and then we need a pretty good handle. This thing, your tools damage is increased. We don't need that, but I want a modifier of uh, over one, one or greater. And we need mining speed that's pretty high with a decent durability. How about up here in cobalt mining speed is 12 it's not too shabby mining speed of manulin is 7.02 
I think cobalt's probably the way to go. We need that on the head. And then what do we do over here? Original Junior left the game again. I did not realize he had come back. Oh, Dadcraft left. Huh. And Ardite has a pretty good handle modifier, but you get a penalty of negative 200 on that. How about on Blue Slime? Negative 50, but you can do Bronze, I think. Bron no, Bronze is further this way. Yeah, Bronze is 1.1. Copper is 1.05. WC Hamilt left the game. What in the world? I'm the only one left. Did did something happen that I don't know about? Let me check Discord here. Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't think they did. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I need to figure out what we're going to put on this tool other than a silky jewel. I'm going to make a hammer because that gets the job done quick. And we're going to do we're going to do a cobalt. And I don't think do we have cobalt in here? Yeah, we're going to do a cobalt hammerhead. Let's put that here. Right like that. And we'll get that going and then maybe we'll go get some bronze as well. So, uh in the meantime, put uh for your consideration should I do a quarry, um, just a, a short term one here, maybe right under the base, just to see about getting some more copper. I've got a decent amount right now, but this forestry stuff, I tell you, it takes a lot, it takes a lot. So uh, do let me know what you think about that. I will not act upon that until I hear from you. And if and if you say that's fine or if you say no, don't do it, then that's fine. We're not going to do it. OK. So uh, no, no, no harm, no foul. Let's put three of those in here and then we'll need some plates. We'll see what else we can, can put on that. But let me figure this out and I'll bring you back once I'm ready to actually build this hammer that's going to get us some packed ice. Stand back. We are about to do some Tinker's Science. Okay, so we take a look at this materials in you and we'll see that um, something doesn't quite add up correctly. Let's go to Cobalt. You see this mining speed. The tool, how fast a tool with tool head of this material can mine blocks may be influenced by other tool parts. Yes, of course. Yes, of course it is. It says 12. But then let's take a look at this. We'll put, uh, actually, we can just take a look here on JEI that I've so helpfully pulled up. Look at that Cobalt hammer. And we'll take a look here. 4.8 is the max mining speed on a cobalt hammer. How about on a cobalt pick? That has 12. So we can take a look here and say, put together this and this and this, and we get durability of 945, mining speed of 12, modifiers four. That's not too shabby, okay? And take this back down. We'll put a bronze tough tool rod in here and then we'll just do this and and uh, this one like this. Hopefully I don't inadvertently click. I've pulled my hand away from the mouse. 4.8 on that. Durability is 2320, of course, because this is how, how all these add together. Plus the bronze tough tool rod that adds a little bit extra. But that's 4.8. And so then you have to make up for that by throwing a bunch of redstone on there. And I don't want to do that. So... Let's pull this off, put on a paper head, and we can, our paper large plate, and we get an additional modifier. Putting on another large or paper plate does not give us an additional modifier, so that doesn't help out there. And if I put on a steel large plate, mining speed is 3.15, modifiers 4, not too shabby, 1627 on the durability, but still not very fast. 
I think I am just going to go with a pick of cobalt and bronze, bronze, and paper binding. The downside here is that it is going to require cobalt to repair it. So that's a thing. It's going to be kind of expensive, but I think we can afford that. We'll just grab that. It's a little loud in the ears there. Let's go over to this side. We'll put that in place and that. And then, uh, yeah, and then we've got three more modifiers here. Mining speed. That's mining speed. Oh, that drops the mining speed. Oh, that's interesting. And we go from an attack of 5.1 down to 2.1. Not a big deal because we've got better weapons for that. But still, let's do that. Now we've got this thing. We can come over here. And yeah, there we go. So we can now get... We can now get Silk Touch. Okay. So I think that's fine. And what we'll do is just melt down these large plates here. The Cobalt ones. And and that, and we should get back the eight ingots that are in each of those, and we can just put the ingot cast on or turn on that guy. Yeah, we'll see what we end up getting. One ingot already in there. Interesting. And then we can melt up that bronze tough tool rod and the steel large plate, and those should not mix. And if they do, they'll come up with something really interesting, I'm sure. So we've got our silk touch pick, and we've got, well, we've got a bunch of other stuff. I think we can put this away. Anything else to put away? Ingots will go here. And we've got this. And we can put this away. So let's take stock. We've got the Apiarist backpack. We've got the Scooperator MX200 Turbo that's fully charged. we got a bee smoker And we got something in the digging backpack. What's in here? Oh. Okay, yeah, from when I was fighting Enderman. And then there's one more thing that I think we need, and that is we need our mob imprisonment tool. I'm going to see if we can find some, some items there. And then our golden lassos in case we see a bat or something like that. And do we have any plastic hanging around here? No, is there plastic over here? There's some plastic. But I don't think that's enough. So I'm sorry for this. We, you know, what I want to do is just take care of a lot of items all in one whack. So, uh, so yeah, it, it, that means that we've got a little bit of prep here. So what we're going to be doing on this adventure that I'm going to get to eventually is we're going to go uh, find some. Can we get all of those? Thank you. And put those in here. So I want to find some meteors from AE2 and see about getting the presses that are in there. I also want to try and find some packed ice. And then if we see a bat, we're going to grab that. And then we're going to grab a couple of villagers because I think that would be useful. In fact, maybe, just maybe, we should make some more of these rings here. I don't know what all they take. Just this? Let's see. Ring? Uh, it's not ring. Lasso. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's the nuggets. Okay. We'll do this. Ring. Okay, I don't want that many. But I do want to bring back a couple villagers. And I want plenty of space for uh, for grabbing bats, if necessary. So we'll throw all that back in there. And our plastic should be close to done. Oh, uh, we got a decent amount there. That's fine. And then what we do is come over here. We'll grab some guest tiers. How many do we got? Four. We'll take all of them. Put those right in the middle. And then there we go. Four mob imprisonment tool, four new ones. So we've got five total. Excellent. I think we are well on our way to grabbing all the things and bringing them back here for science. Yep, exactly. Science. All right. So from this point, let me make sure I've got everything I want to do. And, and yeah, so I will be right back. Let me get my list together and I will be right back. 
All right, I have got my list ready to go and let me show you kind of what we are planning to do. So I am down here in this zone right here and I want to go up towards this place right here because there, well, I don't know what will be there for me or waiting for me, but since it is an ice plains spikes looking or ice plains type thing, we might have ice plains spikes close by and that'll give us a chance of finding uh, a few things that I'm looking for. And then we're close to a forest right here, so we might be able to find a village. So um, I'm going to head that way. We've got probably a good 10 minutes or so in the episode left. So um, what I will do is I will bring you back when we find something of interest and we'll go from there. Oh, wait, I see the first thing. I didn't even get to leave. And here we are at the first thing. I've got I've got my copper paper electrum hammer. I don't know that I brought enough things to um, to repair this with. And we need to turn down the volume just a little bit. Let's turn that down. All right. So we got an inscriber engineering press and that's all we got from from that. Can we pick this up? Maybe. Yes. Okay. So so there we go. That's a thing. We've now got some sky stone, which is good. Yep. Okay. It's always good to have a little bit of that for our upcoming adventures in AE2. And this thing is doing pretty well on this Skystone. Skystone used to be pretty bad. All right. And let's see. We still need a calculation press, silicon press, and inscriber, silicon, calculation. There's one more press. What do we got? Inscriber. What do we get here? Inscriber engineering. Calculation, engineering, logic, silicon. Okay. So we've got a little bit left to find. And um, and yeah, I'll bring you back once we get to another meteor. And the next order of business is to take care of some of these hives right here. And I think we can... Yeah, there we go. We can just shift right click and see if... Yeah, there we go. So that's, that's how you take care of the hives. Excellent. So that means, uh, that means that's what we're going to be doing as well. So whenever I see hives that are of interest, I'm just going to shift right click on them with the Scooperator MX200. Yeah, turbo. MX200 turbo. So uh, I'm still looking for another meteor, but it's pretty easy when you got this flight thing going. So I'll see you in uh, at the next meteor whenever I see something cool. And look, we have found a village. So that means we probably should get out our... Uh, not that one. I did a little bit of rearranging here. We're going to grab two farmer villagers. That's what I want. Uh, is that where I was putting all those hives? I can't remember. Anyway, let's see if we can find a farmer villager. There's one, I think. Let's see. Let's take a look at his profession. Yes, he is a farmer. And now we've got him in a golden lasso. Excellent. And is there another farmer around here? That looks like a farmer and he's having a bad time. Let's see. No, you're a Fletcher. I don't... Well... Well, how about you? What are you? You're a Fletcher as well. And uh, something else I wanted to do is come over to one of these actually edition houses because the mod author uh, hit me up on Discord and said, you, you completely missed the whole point of the actually editions house. And sure enough, I did. Uh, what is he? He's, this is the... Yeah. Anyway, so... What we do over here, let's see, there's a crusher. We can't take any of this stuff out, but we could throw things in there. 
Coffee, I still haven't figured out. I think we have to put a mug in there. And we'll get to that in a bit. But if we come up here, there's something you can do. This has a lit, has no RF in it. So I'm supposed to hit that. This. There's some RF there. It's supposed to tell me. Yeah, we got a button, uh, but it's not sending any. Hold a redstone torch to toggle. You can hear. What do we got? Diamantine crystals. That's good. Iron casing. That's useful. Wood casing. Yeah, we're going to take all that. Anything else over here? Just some. There's some wood casings. I got plenty of those from when I've raided these before, but I can't raid anything else. So there's not much to do. How about you guys? Fletcher and Fletcher. I need a farmer. I don't need a Fletcher. Let's see what else we got. There's a immersive engineering house. How about you? You're a Fletcher also. And in here, anything of note? Iron. I'll take that. Iron rod. I'll take treated stick. Yeah. You know what? I'll take all that. How about up here? Nothing. So is this... I don't think this has been raided before. But I'm getting kind of off in the weeds. If I find another farmer, I'm going to grab him. Otherwise, we'll just wait for another another village how about you fisherman yep all right i'm taking too much time i'll see you in a little bit all right it is time for the next one of these meteors let's take this out see if we can get down into the middle okay, we're fairly close yeah there we go and engineering press hmm. okay next well, here we are in one of the actually addition houses. Oh, and we've got... We've got some zombies hanging out because it was just nighttime. And then what we can do is just click that and awesome. So we get a void crystal block. And this thing, it's like a tutorial, beginning tutorial about, about actually addition. So actually, I'm going to take all of that stuff and I think... Can I get to, I can't quite get to that void crystal block because of the design of that. Okay, there we go. So, so there we go. And we can put a tiny torch on top of that. And then if we come through here, this is a wood crate. I don't know what's behind there, but yeah. So that's how to do the laser relay stuff. And we've got some charcoal shooting some crystal flux over to here. And that's building up the charge in the atomic reconstructor that is right there. So, not too shabby. It's not much that we can grab here. Okay, that's doing crushed black quartz. Okay, that's fine. So, anyway, hopefully, Elpac, that uh, I, I was able to discover that. But thanks for the hint. And greenhouse glass. I don't know if we can grab that or not. Uh, any other of these houses that I've gone in, you can't grab any of the items. So, yeah, I just kind of leave them alone from here on out. But we still need to find some more meteors and we need to get to the ice plains. So, I'm going to get that way. Well, we have reached an ice plains and I've also got another of these meteors. So let's go down here. Inscriber silicon press. Excellent. So we've got one more of these things. And we've also got ooh, a purple slime island. That's useful. And then one of these astral sorcery things. I've been knocking these out. We might get some visitors here. But it never hurts to take a look in here. But we still need... There's two other presses to get. So I'm going to keep looking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have found something that I have wanted to get a hold of for some time, and it's this blitz. Got it. Okay, so we've got... No, it's not a blitz, it's a blizz, but those are going to be useful. Anyway, I'm fighting some Endermen, and... Yep. Back in a little bit. Now we've got a double meteor. Let's see if we can find what we need in here. We need two more of these things. Excellent. Silicon and calculation. Okay. 
And, you know, we'll grab the Sky Stone just for grins and giggles. You know what? We'll take the Sky Stone chest too, if it will let us. Pickaxe is what we need. Even that takes forever. My goodness. Okay. Let's come over to this one. And there's the hammer. One more. There it is. Calculation. So, not quite what we're looking for. We need, we got the inscriber silicon. Let's switch over to this one. Grab that out of there. And then this out of here. Put that in there. And we'll put the blizz over here. Okay. We'll grab that stuff. Okay. And yeah, so we've got the calculation, engineering, and silicon. Calculation, engineering, logic. So, so we still need to find another meteor. All right, we are back. And yeah, Java Dad just burned to death in the nether. And I think it, it's probably related to me. We got silicon and calculation, not logic yet. All right, well, let's keep searching. This is perfectly believable terrain generation, right? Desert, cold. Hmm. Way to go, Minecraft. All right, 15th time's a charm. Logic, finally. Okay, so now we have all of the presses. So at least the A2 part of this journey is done. And let's, I, I think, let's see. Yes, we've got calculation, engineering, logic, and silicon. Okay, so I still haven't found a packed ice biome. And I don't know that we are going to. Although we still have a decent amount left Actually, not much. So maybe if I go this way, yeah, I should be able to figure this out pretty quickly. I don't know that we're going to see packed ice. If we do, I'd be really surprised. And I'm causing some block lag for everybody. I'm sorry about that. It's just uh, the name of it. Oh, just in time. Oh my. Excellent. Let's take a sneaky screenshot here. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that means I am going to get to work on hammering this stuff out. And we're going to grab a bunch of packed ice. Well, it's time to take a look at our overall haul for this thing. We're back at home now. And I get the joy of editing all of that down into somewhere around 30, 35 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's see. We've got our packed ice, which is good. Some sea lanterns. I found an igloo, which had some carpets and stuff. And then all of those astral sorcery uh, things, the fountain things, kept on finding those. We got some diamonds out of that, glowstone dust, iron, a bunch of ender pearls. And then, well, we've got our presses here. We got, well, almost one of each. Well, the logic. Yeah, so, so just got one of those just in the nick of time, but that's not too shabby. Picked up a donkey, two donkeys actually, because why not have donkeys? And we got a blizz, which we're going to be using later. And then also picked up a couple of villagers. We're going to be using those for emerald trading. So we got two farmers. We got plenty of stuff coming in from our auto farm. So uh, yeah, we're going to have tons of emeralds and a bunch of sky stone and various other bits and bobs, moving wands, illumination wand. Anyway, so not too bad for a haul of an adventure and then overall i think i think we've done pretty well so let's turn around here and say hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel that's going to be it for now we'll see you next time bye bye